This is number two, arithmetic and geometric means, number one. Now, in part one, we're going to prove that for a constant area, a square has the minimum perimeter in relation to the, the rectangle. So, what I'll do is I'll draw a little rectangle here. Rectangle there. Now the perimeter is going to be 2x plus 2y. The area is equal to x, y. But this is constant, so we'll call that c. Therefore y equals c over x. Replacing the y here with c on x, we get p equals 2x plus 2c on x which is 2x plus 2c x to the minus 1. Differentiating this, we get p dash equals 2 minus 2c x to the minus 2. Do it again, we get 4c x to the minus 3, which is 4c on x cubed. Now, p double dash will be greater than 0 if x is greater than 0 which it will be because we're talking about a physical dimension here. Therefore, a minimum will occur right, when this is equal to zero. So we'll let p dash equals zero to find the minimum. And we get two minus two c on x squared is equal to naught. Two c on x squared equals two. So x squared is equal to c, which gives me that x equals the square equals the square root of c. Now x equals the square root of c. Now putting that back in the equation here, we get y equals c over root c. Rationalize, we get c root c on c, which is root c. So we have a square here. So the minimum um, perimeter will be square and that minimum perimeter p will be equal to 4 root c which is 4 x y. Now just rub this out over here a bit. Now we know the perimeter of the rectangle must be greater than the perimeter of the square because we just proved that. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 2x plus 2y, and this must be greater than 4 root xy. Dividing both sides by 4 and taking out the common factor of 2, we get xy on 2 is greater than the square root of xy. Now this part here on the left-hand side is known as the arithmetic mean, and this one is the geometric mean. The arithmetic mean on this side. And that's the geometric mean. Now, in the next part, we'll prove this algebraically, this result al algebraically. Right, I have to prove the arithmetic mean is greater than the geometric mean, this result here. And to do that, I'll, do, I'll start off with the fact that A minus B, A minus B, all squared must be greater than zero. Now, I'll remove those brackets and we'll get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is greater than zero. a squared plus b squared is going to be greater than 2ab. Now, here I'll complete the square by adding 2ab. And I'll add 2ab to both sides. So we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is greater than 4ab. That's a perfect square. So a plus b all squared is greater than 4ab. Take the square root to both sides. We get ab is greater than the square root of 4ab. Taking the 4 out we get 2 root AB 
and then dividing both sides by 2, we get AB on 2 is greater than the square root of AB.